Hey guys, Corrosive here, and today we're playing with a VTEC 5.8 GHz phone. Today I'm going to show you not only how insecure it is, but just how much fun you can have with it. For instance, let's go ahead and set off the alert tone without actually pressing the button. Alright, so that's fun, but what else can we really do with it? Well, give me a moment of your time, take a look at our SDR, and I'll show you just how much fun we can have with this thing. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and switch over to our SDR. We're going to be using a Hack RF in this example. This is a transmit-capable, software-defined radio. It can receive and transmit a full gambit from about, oh, I want to say 10 megahertz all the way to 6 gigahertz. So it's a fairly powerful device for this type of play and exploration. Let's go ahead and start up our SDR. We're going to go ahead and put a squelch on that so it's not blasting in your ear. Now, I happen to know for a fact that this phone isn't really a 5.8 gigahertz phone. That's right. Companies like VTech are misleading you. And big. Now, let's be fair. The government is aware that these phones don't technically line up with the specifications that are labeled on them. And I'm not going to get into the law and semantics behind it. However, for the sake of security, for knowledge and just for playing around with this thing, I'll let you know this one happens to be sitting on 913 megahertz, particularly 913.799. Now, in this case, in this case, we're talking about the base station itself. The base station is a 900 megahertz base station, while the phone is 5.8 gigahertz, so it's not a complete lie, but eh, it's not entirely true. So... Why does this matter? Well, scanners can be modified to listen into the 900 megahertz range, and a lot of them can hear this range already without being modified. So if you have one of these phones, eh, you're not all that safe. Now, that being said, we can also listen to the 5.8 gigahertz band side of things, which you really couldn't do before. So things have been changing a lot. Uh, with the introduction of SDR. So let's go ahead and really start playing with this. I hope you've stayed with me so far. We're really in for some fun. So let's go ahead and I'm going to switch to wideband because this happens to be a very wide signal compared to most digital signals I happen to see. And we're going to put the phone on the base and what you're going to see, well, you know what? I'm going to let you see it first and you tell me in the comments what you thought it was and then I'll tell you what I found. So go ahead and take a guess, but what you're hearing is the pairing of the phone. The phone's actually registering with the base station wirelessly, letting it know, hey, I'm here, in the future we might want to talk, is essentially what we have going on. So. We can listen to it pair. That's interesting. The real interesting thing is, once I get around messing with URH, the software here that allows us to uh, hack around with radio signals, I should be able to decode it and insert my own messages. And you could say, oh, take over someone's phone line. Now, I'm not going to straight up teach you how to do that, but it is certainly a possibility from what I can tell at this point. Now, we've heard it pair but what else can it do, Corrosive? That's cool, but come on, what else can you do? Well, let's go ahead and unmute this, and I'll show you what else we can do. Let's turn the phone on. What do you think just happened there? I want to see some comments. Tell me what you guys thought. This here, um, from what I've seen, what I've researched so far, we actually have a signal with the phone telling the base station, hey, I've turned on. Would you please send me uh, access to the phone line? And so what you're seeing here is actually the phone line itself, if it were hooked up. Now, there's no phone line on this phone, so we're just getting a blank signal. Let me switch to narrowband. We need to get a little bit smaller here. I believe there's a subcarrier. I think there's a smaller bandwidth in the center uh, for things like in-tone, like DTMF. And it sounds like there might even be a little bit of audio there that's seeping through. Um, the outer band is for the actual data. So let's hit some DTMF tones. Not super loud. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up for you. I'm not sure if you can hear that.
Okay, so we're able to hear the DTMF tones. Now, I also have the transfer option. Now, I don't have the rest of the phones for this base station, so I can't transfer to anything. But go ahead and take a listen. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So that was interesting. We saw where the line went away, some data happened, and then the line came back. Uh, now, that happened because there's no other phones. Uh, the base station was basically saying, hey, calling all phones, and then it didn't get a response, so it gave the line back to me. Let's go into wideband so that way you can hear the actual data. So, not only did you hear it call the phones, but when the phone line was handed back, you also heard a packet coming from my phone back over saying, hey, I got it. I got the phone line. We're good. So that's what we've been able to do so far on this end. Now, what about the 5.8 gigahertz side? Well, that can get pretty interesting, too. So let's go find that. We're going to go over to 5.8 gigahertz band. And I did forget to show you a page, but we'll do that at the end. So we need to find the phone. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Because I'm not sure where the phone lies in our spectrum. It's just somewhere 5.85, somewhere in there. And uh, we should be able to see it. Ah, that's more than likely us. Yep, I can see a modulated FM carrier. So as, uh, as soon as I get over here, you're going to hear my voice from the microphone. Let's go ahead and switch to narrowband. All right. Uh, let's see, my squelch is keeping us from hearing me. I'm going to undo this. You're going to hear an echo, and I'm going to have a hard time talking because I'm going to hear myself, but let's go for it. All right. All right. Let's widen this out. Let's widen that out. Here. And so if you're wondering, if you're wondering yes, yes, you can listen to, you a, phone can listen call. to a phone call. And no, you shouldn't do it. Yes, it is illegal, and no, I'm not telling you to do it, so don't do it. All right, so, again, security, <laughs> oh, what security? SDRs are the blue box of the phone network to radio today. So, let's continue, shall we? We have a few more things to show before we end the day. And uh, then we'll see you next time. So let's go ahead and unmute. And we're going to listen to the DTMF from the handset side over here on 5.8 gigs. That looks interesting, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and zoom in. We're going to remove the squelch. And if you notice, there's little bits of data over here. Uh, what is what this actually is, is where the DTMF is. It's actually the data channel, the 5.8 gigs data channel from the phone to the base. The base does have a 5.8 gig receiver. It just doesn't transmit in that band. So we're going to go ahead and unmute again. I'm going to start from 0, 1 to 9, star and pound to capture each tone if someone wants to try and decode it. And by the way, if anyone would like an IQ copy of all the data I've been able to collect from this device, let me know. I'd actually like to find a way to start storing all of my IQ recordings, so that way I can share them with others, and they can play back the data on their end. And we could have a whole bunch of people who, if they're interested anyway, could try to decode different things that we can find out here. A lot of cool stuff we can do, and I'd love to collaborate with other people. Um, seriously, let me know in the comments below. Hit me up. Um, just let me know. Uh, I'd love to start messing with it. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to show you one more thing before we get going here today. We're going to page the handset, um, both on the 5.8 gig, gig band, and then we're going to go over to 900 megs again, and we're going to do it there. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to unmute. And I, I believe the data channel is where this shows up. Uh, it should be. Uh, 
I have to hang up the phone for Ah, see, now we find something interesting every time, don't we? Uh, it's simplex. If we're just trying to page the phone, why would we see anything in 5.8 gigs? We wouldn't, because this is 5.8 and this is 900. So if this is transmitting on 900 and it's paging all available phones, we're not going to see anything over here. If you notice, though, as soon as I hung up or hit off to stop the paging, we did see something. That's because this was the phone in 5.8 saying, hey, uh, the user found me. Shut up. So we're going to do that again. Uh, so that way I can make sure everyone saw that. We're going to zoom into our data channel. We're going to page. And then I'm going to hang up and you're going to get that packet. Looks like I was slightly off center. Let's do it again. Much better. All right. Okay, so it's time to finally do our last little one on this video. Uh, oh, that's not what we're looking for. That's a different signal. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, you know what? I know what that is. Let's zoom out. Uh, we're still paging for other phones. This is a multiple phone device. Uh, let's go ahead and hang up, and that should cut it off. It was still paging. So now we're going to go ahead and take it off. We're going to page it, make sure we're in wideband. You guys get to hear that paging signal. And again, if you would like to try and decode it, please let me know what you come up with. Um, URH, that uh, radio hacking software I haven't played a lot with, but I'd really like to see uh, what can be done here. And you'll notice, once again, you have that little burst in between where it's acknowledged one of the phones were found, but it's still going to page and see if it can find another. One more time in case you missed it. Right there. All right. So that's what we have so far. Um, guys, please don't, don't screw around with phones like this. And as far as security is concerned, I understand nothing is 100% secure, but let me tell you, um, you're never going to find security in a wireless device. Certainly not one that the best it can say is, I'm 5.8 gigs. It just doesn't cut it, guys. So keep that in mind. And uh, take a look in the corner of this video here at the end. Uh, I'm going to have a link that goes back to a video I did on a different channel called Bod Rate, where I'm actually uh, using a PCM CIA card to um, you know, actually send messages out and receive uh, calls from a decked phone, a decked phone that supposedly is supposed to use encryption, but guess what? They don't. So go check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, uh, if you're interested, I am going to do a special on how to get the FCC ID out of this so you guys can find the frequencies of devices that you happen to have laying around. Um, I'm going to show you how to search that, get internal photos, get the frequency of devices. All kinds of information. I didn't have to just wander around and hope I found it. I was able to look up all the documentation on these things. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that on Tuesday. So Tuesday, I'm going to try and release that video. Um, hoping to pre-record it. So watch out for that video on Tuesday. You guys have a great freaking weekend. And I will see you Monday with a new video. Have a great one.